Hello there, my name is Veena Prashant. I'm the creator of SmartPayCard.com, fondly known as SPC. And today I'm going to talk to you about strong customer authentication, what it means for you, how it can impact your business, and what you need to do to prepare for it. Now, if you use SmartPayCard SPC as your shopping cart platform, the good news is SPC is ready to deal with SCA. So I'll talk to you about what SCA means and uh, what we have done in SPC. To support SCA. Now the SCA requirement only applies to transactions where both the business as well as the cardholders bank they are both located in the EU region. For non-EU transactions if your customer has a non-EU card then it will go through as normal because the Stripe API figures out if it's a non-EU card it will only be triggered if both the business and the cardholders bank are located in the EU region. Now let's take a look at how this is going to work. Now once SCA goes into effect in September, there's going to be an additional and mandatory step that's required before payment is approved. So to authenticate a payment, a customer needs to respond to a prompt from their bank and then provide additional information to confirm payment. Now this could be something that they know, for example, password, or it could be something they use like their phone or something that's part of who they are, like their fingerprint most common way to authenticate a payment is using a method called 3D Secure. And there's a new version of 3D Secure, it's called 3D Secure 2, and that is going to become the standard method to authenticate payments. Now here's how it's going to work. This is what the customers are going to see. They visit your site on the checkout, they enter their credit card information, click on buy. They are going to be prompted with this message from the bank that will require them to authenticate the payment. And once they authenticate the payment, then the order will be completed if the bank approves it. So you can see here the flow is initiate a payment. Your customers fill in the credit card details and click on place your order. Then a Stripe is going to detect whether authentication is required. And if it is required, Stripe is going to authenticate the customer using a one-time passcode or ID depending on whatever their bank supports. And once a customer's identity has been confirmed through 3D Secure, then the card can be charged. So there is this extra step for fraud prevention. And uh, if you don't do this, then banks can decline payment. Now Stripe has updated their APIs and we have updated Smart Pay Card to integrate with these new APIs to support SCA. So let me show you how you can enable SCA in SPC and uh, what's going to happen and what the customer experience is going to be like for your SCA powered checkout pages. So if you visit SPC settings page, under the live mode and under the sandbox mode, under Stripe, you will now notice that there is this option that says, do you want to turn on 3D secure payment? And uh, by default, it's set to no, but if you want to enable 3DS authentication, make sure to set this to yes. So let me show you how my checkout page looks currently and how it's going to look when I turn on the 3DS2 authentication. So this is my checkout page and here you can see this is the credit card section and I'm using Stripe to process payments. And this is the SPC power checkout fields. This is how it's going to look by default. But if you turn on the 3DS authentication in the back end, in that case, everything else is going to look the same, but these fields are going to be powered by Stripe. So let me show you how that's going to look. All right, so this is my checkout page and here I have turned on the 3DS authentication in the SPC settings page. And in the payment section, you can see here, this is how the fields are going to look because it's no longer powered by SPC, it's coming from Stripe. So these are the Stripe fields that support 3DS2 authentication. And that's all you need to do. And for testing purposes, what you can do is you can set the SPC payment buttons in a sandbox mode and in Stripe documentation, where they list all the card numbers that you can use for testing purposes, you will notice there is a section for 3D secure test card. So you can select one of the card numbers from there and use that to test 3D secure to authentication. But uh, be sure to set uh, your payment button in SPC to sandbox to test it using the Stripe test card numbers. And that's it. Now, as I mentioned before, this is only going to affect EU users. Now, other users are going to notice no difference. It will continue to work the same way for them. So this is an SPC checkout page. And here, what I have done is in the back end, in the settings page, I have said, do you want to turn on 3D secure payment to yes. So here, what I have done is I have set SPC payment button to sandbox mode just to test and show you how this works. 
So in the Stripe documentation page, you can grab a test credit card number uh, from the 3D Secure Test Card Number section. So here I'm going to select one of these where 3D Secure is going to be required. So you will see how it's going to work. So I have entered the card number here and I'm going to go ahead and click on place your order and your users are going to see this prompt. Now this is because I'm testing using a test card number. It just shows me a button to complete authentication, but otherwise users will have to authenticate using one of the methods I talked to you about earlier. And so I'm going to click on complete authentication. The purchase will complete and the users will get sent to the thank you page as normal. That's it. So this is how it's going to work for users that use an EU card for the purchase. Now, if users use a regular card, they are not going to notice any difference because this will only affect users that use an EU card. So here I'm using a regular card and click on place your order and that's it. So they are not going to see any prompt and everything will work the way it used to before. So this update is going to be part of SBC version 4.6. So as long as you are on SBC version 4.6 or above, you will be able to authenticate users using 3DS2 authentication and you will be ready for uh, 3DS2 authentication because it is going to become a required form of authentication in September. If you have any questions about this, let me know. My name is Veena Prashant. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.